Hello, everyone, and welcome. You are watching the live online product launch of the next generation of Gigabyte Bricks. My name is Jack. I will be the host and moderator of this webinar. Now, as many of you may know, Gigabyte offers a broad range of solutions for both enterprises and consumers. Today, it is our pleasure to get you the Gigabyte Bricks, the mini PC solution that is small outside, powerful inside. Based on AMD's cutting edge embedded processors, the Gigabyte Bricks has powerful extensions and compact size that offer unrivaled performance and convenience. Let's look at today's agenda. My colleague, Hunter Lee, is standing by to tell you all about the Bricks' product features and highlights. Next, we will have a media review section where we will share a video clip about the media unboxing and review of the BRICS. Throughout today's webinar, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to enter it in the chat room on the right side of your screen. A member of our team is standing by to collect your feedback, and we will answer your questions during the Q&A session. Last but not least, we have a lucky draw. Four lucky winners will be walking away with the prizes you see here on the screen. So please be sure to stick around and kill the end to find out more information about the lucky draw. Now, before we get down to the Nikki Greeky, there's a video clip we would like to share with you. Please pay attention. This is your exclusive sneak preview of the ad video for Gigabyte Bricks. Hello, Hunter. Hi, hey, Jack. there you are. Hey, how nice are you? To meet you. Nice Good. to meet you too. We yeah. met each other before, obviously. How yeah. are you today, Hunter? Good. It's a nice weather outside. It's yeah. a great day for the launch event. Yes, and it's a very nice video clip that we just watched. Yes. I really like how the bricks is demonstrated to be used in a commercial retail setting, such as a pub. Don't you think? Yeah, definitely. That's why we call this like product with uh, our bricks and small focusing in the commercial product. Mm -hmm. uh, that's mean in the commercial purpose, like not only for, you know, like small restaurant or mm -hmm. any other commercial uh, usage you mm -hmm. can use. Because uh, this new machine from the MD product have so many unique features. I cannot wait to tell you more about it. Okay, well, why don't we get started? Let's start with the uh, development process of the bricks. Tell me, Hunter, was it difficult to uh, design such a compact and small device with so many features? Definitely. It's very hard. It's easy to build a big PC, you know, you can store anything you like, but it's really, it's art. That's an art. <laughs> it is an art. Yes. How to shrink the big tower into like small four by four inch by four inch size. That's really difficult. Let's take a look about the, on the slide I have today. So actually it's like creating, you know, like the development cycles. 
So every time when we have new product, new product launch, we need to do that over and over again. For example, in the beginning, what platform you gotta use? Platform, yes. Right, and then we pick the platform, and then we have to think about how small. What's the small enough? Mm. How do you mean the mini PC? Mm -hmm. So right now, what we did is like four by four size. We call it like the four inch by four inch, and this is probably the one of the smallest one with a very powerful big core CPU inside. And then after we deciding the dimension, then the next will be the really challenge to R&D. We call it uncompromised the performance. Okay, uncompromised performance. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to buy something that's been like handicapped or something that you're no, lagging? I think consumers, customers in general expect the best. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's really difficult for the R&D. They not only have to maintain the performance, but also, in the meantime, they have to make sure the machine is running cool and in a very low noise and also with very power efficiency. That's really difficult for them. And But good thing in the Gigabyte, we have very experience. We are more than 20 years in the industrial. We have no insider on the PC architecture. So that's why we will be doing the we are the one of the best mini PC manufacturer in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you've talked about the uh, performance and the noise. Maybe you can go a little more into the noise and the uh, heat because that will affect the performance and the durability of the device, no? Definitely, because right now all the modern CPU, they have, uh, they call a source thermal protection. That means when the CPU go over a certain degree, for example, like more than 100 degree, we will call throttling. That means they'll be slowed down their, their speed in order to reduce the heat. But for the mini PC, that's really challenging because think about the size of it, right? So it's really challenging for our R&D, especially on the thermal wise. We have to measure the CPU won't hit the throttling, mm. but also maintaining in the low noise. Mm. And that's really challenging. For, for this machine, we spend a lot of time in the thermal solution. We're using the active fan sink. The fan sink including the two copper heat pipe inside and entirely there's a big chunk of the bunk. And then we'll be able to despite the heat as soon as possible and remain the free low noise. Okay, so you have good performance, low noise, good heat dissipation, and that equals good reliability and durability, I, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. That's why we very honor, we call it a durability test. That's why we honor all the product in like three year warranty, because we know what we're doing. We're not picking like a chip component or like the chip solution to do. We're always using a top notch product and top of quality product into our product. Mm -hmm. And that's making our machines very durable and reliable. You can do like 724, 365 for three years. There's really? no doubt about it. Okay, so while we're on the matter of durability and quality, perhaps you can tell us a little more about the service that comes with the Gigabyte Bricks. Uh, that's another good point too. Well, the Gigabyte, we've been in the industry for so long and we have almost like, we have like almost like global coverage. And then that's mean, if you buy the product from your region, and then you have something wrong within three years or you have some technical issue, you always can find somebody. You also can send an email to our customer service. We have FAE, we have technical support. We're able to answer your question. Speaking of questions, I, I imagine one of the things that our viewers might be thinking about is there are other mini PC solutions on the market. So how is the Gigabyte AMD bricks different or better than other solutions? Uh, Well, I have to be very proud to say we are the one of the best. Because I uh, think about when you, in a couple of years ago, it's nobody making a mini PC until one day Gigabyte coming out and Intel follow up, they have a NUC, NUC, the nuke. And then since then, the other competitors starting join, but they cannot compete with us because we know the inside out, just I mentioned before. And then we never compromise. We saw too many competitors, they do some compromising. So they trying to reduce the uh, TBD. So the CPU runs slower, so they won't increase the heat. But unfortunately, we don't do that. We won't give 100% of the performance when they come out of the box. We want to give the best user experience when you open it. Mm -hmm. So it is very good user experience and performance and in a very small product. Hunter, please tell us more about the size of the uh, Gigabyte Bricks. Yes, uh, let's go to the next slide. Uh, actually, you will see that's a slide we have in here. Basically, in the MD product right now, uh, this new MD bricks, we do over two different sizes. One we call slim version. Slim version basically is using like a SSD with a, and the memory. That's it. That's why we can keep the very slim, just like uh, you see in here in our hand. It's really small. 
smaller than my palm, right? And then we call it, it's a four by four. So actually, if you count the dimension, it's only like 0 0.47 liter. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's very small. That's, yeah. yeah. Compared to, yes, I like this one too. Yeah. Compared to the, the Coke I have, this 0 0.5 liter is even smaller. Yes. So that's why we call it a mini PC. And the taller version, obviously slightly taller, but dimension wise still four inch by four inch is taller. The reason we have tall version is because still some people need to be using the traditional hard drive. For example, they still need to want to install like 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive or for dual storage. You can have the M.2 storage plus another 2.5 inch. So we have a tall version mm -hmm. and plus tall version later we have, we got to tell you the one special unique design okay. called upgrade kit. Upgrade so kit. Yeah. Basically, right now we carry for two different versions of the bricks. Two different versions. Yes. Right. So the smaller one is the slim version and the uh, bigger one is the tall version. Yes, that's tall right. and slim. Both yes. excellent choices. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned the AMD platform. Can you please tell us more about why we chose to go with AMD and what are the uh, research and development challenges or uh, problems you might have faced while developing this AMD solution? That's good. That's another good question. Uh, people have been wondering why we don't have the MD product for so long. So let's go to the next page. MD product right now, as you see this time, we're choosing the Ryzen 7 for the 800U because we think there's uh, several unique feature from offering from the MD. First of all, this is the first, gen first time you ever see the seven nanometer sensed to TSMC. So it's seven nanometer processing. That's mean on the same footprint, you can put more CPU core and thread into the small package. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we see this small, tiny machine is one of the first machine able in the market, able to support an eight core 16 thread. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the like, very unique feature. And second of all, on the MD Vega engine, this is a one of like special engine. You can do the mini PC with four independent output. In the past, if when we talk about the mini PC, most of the time you only support like two output, sometimes maybe three, but you never see four by four K output in this mini PC. But good thing is MD did it. Yes. That's why in the past two years, MD get great momentum in the market right now. And we think this is good product and we're thinking that's why we should have the, this one too. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have the, this project. And fortunately, right now, we have the, on the market right now. Yes, uh, I heard something very interesting. You told me uh, before that having the AMD platform in our bricks is having a lot of power in the palm of your hand. And that is, I think, one of the benefits of using this platform. Yeah. Uh, tell me, Hunter, are there any other design uh, considerations you had to resolve or add into the uh, gigabyte bricks? Because I think you mentioned expansions and upgrades. Yes, we do have the new upgrade kit. And think about if you buy something or you buy in the car, do you want to upgrade your car or you upgrade your equipment? It depends on how much money I have, I guess. Yes. So, but we know a lot of people have a miss. They always think that mini piece is so tiny, it's almost impossible to get upgraded. Mm. You buy as is, right? Nothing you can do. Mm. But we break this rule. So let's go to the next page I can show you. This we call the upgrade kit. The upgrade kit basically is uh, when you purchase the one or like tall version we have in here. When left left, so it's a taller has space for 2.5 inch hard drive. But in chance, when you're not using 2.5 inch hard drive, then we start thinking what else we can do mm -hmm. and what customer they may want to have. So we're using a same space like two point hard drive. We create something we call upgrade kit. For example, I got a one in here. That's a, the upgrade kit we have in here. Oh, that's so beautiful. This, yeah, there's a tiny PCB. They're pretty much same like the two point five inch hard drive you have. So when you have this upgrade kit together, and then if you go back to the slide we have, so you will see after you install, then the system will come up with a second COM port and second LAN port. So basically this will be free high end, you know, commercial PC or like IOT PC. You can do like a dual land in some situation like the customer want to have dual land for redundancy or for security, then you can upgrade to like a dual land mm -hmm. system. That's why we call it upgrade kit. And in the future, we definitely gonna come up other different features upgrade kit for this model. Even something more exciting to look forward to. Definitely. I, I hear you talk about uh, ports and expansions. What is the internet connectivity options? 
of the gigabyte bricks? Do we have Ethernet? Do we have Wi-Fi? What do we have? Oh, well, that's another great question, too. Uh, everybody loves the Internet. Yes. Definitely, right? You do online shopping, you do browsing, you do growing. So basically, Internet is one of very critical elements for everybody's life, right? So what we did, we did high-end uh, networking in here. For example, for Ethernet, we're using the latest 2.5 gig Ethernet. So you get a fast connectivity speed, plus you got a very big bandwidth. So if you connect to your NAS or like a corporate server, you get a fast response. But a lot of time, people also intend to using Wi-Fi because for the Wi-Fi is much, much easier and convenient. For example, if you're going out or you don't have any Ethernet, you can use your your cell phone, right? Mm. You open your like a hotspot, mm -hmm. then you can connect to make a little machine connect to internet. So for the Wi-Fi, we're adding the latest Wi-Fi six module in this in this machine. The Wi-Fi six, uh, right now the module we're using is a Wi-Fi six up to like the two point four gig, mm -hmm. the bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much same like the Ethernet. So it's both offering very fast and also Bluetooth five point one standard too. Mm -hmm. So no matter you connect to your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, like the headphone, they offering the best quality. I don't know about our viewers out there, but I'm getting pretty excited. You talk about the performance, the compact size, the connectivity. It sounds like the bricks can do a lot of things. Perhaps you could summarize for us in a briefer sentence or paragraph, what are the advantages of the Gigabyte bricks? Oh, well, Jack, we are so excited about this product. So whenever, everything we talk about in the right now, and then we pack into the small package like this, and then we come up with a conclusion like this. The conclusion will be, compared to previous generation, the new MD platform able to offer 80% more higher performance in the CPU, and then 25% faster in the memory bandwidth as well. And then that's all, they have the 4K, 4 by 4K output. Mm -hmm. So when you have the something like the in the office, you want to connect to the multiple monitor or like the commercial use, you never need to buy another PC. One PC can do all. And then most of all, compared to old generation, we call it integrated graphic, the new Vega engine over up to four times faster. So right now, a lot of time people say the mini PC cannot do gaming, but they're wrong. On this model, right now, if you want to play like online gaming or like casual gaming, you can use this machine without any additional graphic card to help. Mm -hmm. So all over around from the performance, from the feature wise, from the power consumption, 15 watt, and then all mixed together, we think is really, we call a power pack. Mm -hmm. It's like small pump in a size, but really powerful. That's why our slogan always say this small outside, but powerful inside. Yes. Small outside, powerful inside, a powerful package in the palm of your hand. Like Hunter has mentioned, you can use it in a commercial setting, even at home or for gaming. I wonder what other places you can use the Gigabyte Bricks. Fortunately, we have another video clip to show you, another ad campaign about how the Gigabyte Bricks can solve problems in different environments.
small outside and powerful inside, available for use in all kinds of different user applications. We now move on to the uh, media review section of today's webinar. We will share with you another video clip that has an unboxing segment and a review segment from a tech media company. The mini PC space continues to evolve and excite. A fact underlined by Gigabyte's brand new series of Brix devices. Right here we have a Gigabyte Brix and a Brix S powered by AMD's very latest Zen 2 architecture platform. Let's take a look. So welcome to the very first Gigabyte AMD series of Brix devices. Over here we have the Gigabyte Brix S, which as you can see is slightly larger, supports a 2.5 inch drives or SSD drives. And we have the ultra compact regular Gigabyte bricks. We have a Visa mounting plate, 135 watt power adapter, and two options of power cord for uh, different regions. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the Gigabyte bricks, which comes in a very small 0.4 liter chassis. This is pretty much as small as computers get. And we'll start with the front I.O. Here you can see there are three type A USB ports. Those are USB 3.2 Gen 1. You also have another pair of those ports, USB 3.2 Gen 1, on the rear of the device. You'll also notice on the front of the device you have a USB Type-C port, that's actually USB 3.2 Gen 2. There is another one of those also on the rear. On the front panel, just to conclude, we have our audio jack, which is for both headphones and microphone, plus a power button, which includes an indicator. Uh, on the back here, we have a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, uh, a HDMI port, and a mini display port. But the great thing about the new AMD platform is that the Radeon graphics, which is actually powered by a Vega 8 CPU, can power up to four displays using both the HDMI here, the mini display port, and you can also pipe display port out through both of these USB Type-C ports. That gives you a total of four displays at 4K at 60 Hertz, which is pretty impressive. Now, both of these uh, devices here, they use the same I.O. The only major difference is the on the Gigabyte S here, you also have a COM port. Now, this is particularly useful for commercial and industrial users where COM ports are surprisingly, despite a seem, being a seemingly legacy kind of technology, are still very important for certain devices, including things like scanners. So, there you have it. Now, because these BRICS devices are really useful, not just for PC enthusiasts, but also for commercial applications, and sometimes places where the public will have access, we've added a Kensington lock here, just, just for situations when theft could be an issue. As with all Gigabyte BRICS products, they're sold as bare-bone devices, which means that you have to install your own drives, memory, and OS. So to do that, you need to, first of all, remove four screws from the underside of the device, which we have for the magic of television, we have already done. And here you can see what we've got inside here. Let's start with, you can notice here, we have a SATA cable. This is so you can install your drive and your drive will actually be screwed into the, the rear of, the, rear of the, the chassis here. You can also see we have a Wi-Fi Bluetooth 5.1 module. This, this is Wi-Fi 6. So of course, this is the best Wi-Fi connectivity around if you have the, the right router installed in your, your location. We also have two SO DIMM slots. This supports DDR4 up to speeds of 3200 megahertz. And actually, AMD strongly recommends, recommends that you do use 3200 megahertz because this will improve performance. Here, we also have an M.2 drive slot which supports PCIe Gen 3 by 4. So as you will recall, the Gigabyte Bricks S includes one uh, 2.5 gig Ethernet port and one COM port here. But for certain consumer applications and certain customers, they will want more than that. So what we've done is we've designed a special expansion kit, which will give you an additional COM port and an additional Gigabit Ethernet port. So you can see the contents of that kit right here. Here we have a daughter board, here we have a, an, an alternate I.O. shield, and here we have a coaxial cable. Let's show you how it all fits together. Okay, so we've replaced the I.O. shield. We've also put the four screws back in the base of the device. So now, as you can see, we have a 2.5 gig Ethernet port, a gigabit Ethernet port, and also a COM port using an RJ45 connector. 
Now this is particularly, this configuration is useful for customers who want two network ports for either redundancy or perhaps for daisy chaining. But it's also good to remember that if they don't want this, if they prefer to have expanded storage, they can also choose not to have this configuration and use it and install a 2.5 inch drive on the device. Thank you for joining us for this unboxing video. Please go to our channel where you can enjoy a subsequent video where we explore the benefits of AMD's high performance Ryzen 4000 series platform. As you've probably seen with our previous video, Gigabyte is launching a series of devices using AMD's mobile platform. This is the Ryzen series based on the new Zen 2 architecture. And this is a real game changer in many respects because previously AMD's mobile platforms weren't that strong, not in terms of performance and certainly not in terms of thermals. So what we have here today is a compact device this small using eight it actually provides eight cores and 16 threads. Now in the past, if you wanted eight cores and 16 threads, you needed something like this, a traditional PC, the full-on PC with all the cooling and lots of fans and everything else. But because of AMD's new process, uh, I would say TSM seven nanometer process, AMD is now capable of putting many more cores into a small die that uses a thermal envelope, in this case, of just under or around no more than 25 watts, which is absolutely incredible. The CPU used in both of these is the Ryzen 7 4800U, which has a base clock of 1.8 and a turbo up to 4.2 gigahertz in certain circumstances. Also here, you've got a very strong IGP. You have the new Vega 8 GPU, which is part of the AMD Radeon series. This has eight execution units and a core clock speed of 1,750 megahertz, which is pretty impressive. But we're gonna take a look at the performance metrics here and see just how it competes to previous platforms. So join us on that journey now. So for the purpose of comparison, we're gonna compare AMD's new Zen 2 platform with Intel's 10th generation core platform, which uses six cores and 12 threads based on the Comet Lake platform. Note that in testing the same storage and system memory configurations were used, let's see how they compare. Cinebench R20 is considered by many to be one of the most reliable CPU benchmarks. In our testing, you can see that the AMD R7 4800U really takes advantage of the additional cores to outscore the Intel platform by more than 30%. An impressive display considering the new AMD platform's 25 watt envelope. Geekbench is another popular CPU test offering both single core and multi core performance metrics. In the single core race, the Intel platform pulls ahead by around 6%, a reminder that Intel is pretty hard to beat in a single thread of performance. However, when utilizing all available cores and threads, AMD storms ahead by a margin of almost 13%. The PC Mark 10 benchmark measures all aspects of your system, including CPU, memory, GPU and your drives. The new AMD platform takes a substantial win here by a margin of 28.6%. In terms of graphics performance, we start with 3 Mark Time Spy, a grueling test usually reserved for desktop PCs and discrete GPUs. Here we see the Vega architecture and the Radeon GPU pull ahead by a margin of 78.5%. An indication that despite being an integrated GPU solution, basic gaming at HD resolution should be decent on most titles. 3D Mark SkyDriver is less demanding and aimed at mobile CPU and GPU platforms. Once again, however, the new Bricks has a massive advantage, pulling ahead by a solid 67%. If we compare read and write speeds, it's interesting to note that despite being pretty close, the Intel Nook produces, produces a marginal performance level in the sequential reading test of 1.3% and a lead of 2.9% in the sequential write test. However, when we compare 4K read and write speeds, we find a substantial lead of 43.4% for AMD in the write test and an incredible 101 gain in the read test. So as you can see from those benchmark results, the performance of AMD's new platform is pretty phenomenal. 
and we're very happy to see eight cores and 16 threads on a device this small. It also has great graphics and compatibility for four times 4K displays at 60 Hertz, which is also fantastic to see. This is good news for enthusiasts and gamers, casual gamers, I guess, but it's also great news for our industrial and commercial partners. And don't forget about flexibility with the uh, upgrade kit that we're offering here on the Gigabyte Bricks S. Okay, so this will be available in the market. Both of these devices will be available during the holiday season at the end of this year. Thank you for joining us. That was a very informative video. I hope everyone is as excited about the Gigabyte Bricks as we are. We now begin our Q&A session. Remember, if you have not entered your questions yet, please feel free to type it now in the chat room on the right side of your screen. Hunter and I will do our best to answer your questions. Our first question, Hunter, what is the maximum storage capacity for the Gigabyte Bricks? Uh, for storage capacity, basically, whatever you can buy from the market, for example, if you get like one terabyte or terabyte M.2 SSD, there's no problem at all. Mm -hmm. We're supporting all different capacity of storage. Okay. And for memory-wise, we can support up to 64 gig DDR4, mm -hmm. 3200 megahertz. Mm -hmm. So all the memory and all the storage that you could, you could possibly ask yes. for. Our next question, uh, is the size of the AMD bricks the same as the Intel-based bricks? Uh, that's good too. Actually, we do, like most of people know, we do offering Intel platform, and right now we have the MD. On the same platform or same chassis we have in here, we also do have an Intel product, so you can check our website. Okay, mm -hmm. speaking of chassis, are these made from plastic or metal? It's like uh, all different material, and we have the uh, plastic outside, and then we have the metal in the back and the metal in the bottom as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Next question, what is the pricing for the upgrade kit for the I.O. expansion? The upgrade kit will be available soon. Uh, we expect nearly about $50 in that yep. range. So with the $50, you can upgrade the machine and then get in the second gigabit Ethernet and also second S232 COM port as well. Mm -hmm. Did you find any particular difference in developing the SFF platform based on the AMD processor? Actually, that's a lot different compared to Intel platform when we're developing and compared to AMD is totally different architecture. And then AMD also, because they're offering more unique feature, for example, we call 4x4K. So one of our biggest challenges is how can we put four output in this tiny machine in here? So here we are. So we come up with the one in the front we're using a USB type CDP and in the back, and then we have the another three in the back. We got a HDMI. We got a mini DP and another USB Type C for DP, so it's really difficult and really challenging for us compared to competitor product. But good thing is we know what we're doing. Yes, that's why we're creating this very powerful machine. I think the next question really concerns our expertise. What is the life cycle of our products, and how long will it be available and supported for commercial use? Uh, the machine wise, basically we cover for warranty wise like three years, right? Mm -hmm. But again, uh, for the life cycle. Basically, it depends on the CPU supply chain, and then basically for three to five years, there's no problem at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very small product, so it is no surprise a viewer asks, it looks like the bricks can be mounted. So does it come with the tools they need to mount it on their devices? Well, that's an excellent question. When you think about size like this, right, you definitely want to see, is, uh, can I put something else, put somewhere else, mm -hmm. right? All the bricks product we come out, we have what we call a visa mount. So when you buy the product, this will be visa mount bracket. So you can just using screw, screw to screw up, and then you can put any monitor or TV which supporting the visa mount. Then you can just hang there. It's just pull it up. Sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, does this unit come fully assembled and ready to use right out of the box? Uh, when you purchase uh, the brick system, most of the time it will be we call it L6 or people call it bare bone system. Bare bone system means you still need to get your own memory, your own storage and operation system. Then you install it and then that's a be all. You can find all the drivers, all the like the utility from our website or from the driver DVD. And but again, we also do cooperate with some system integrator in different country or different region. They also do 
pre-assembling fully comp uh, fully assembled L10 system. Mm -hmm. So check your local DST or local dealer for more information. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, regards to service and size, that is no problem. But I see our viewers are very interested in the performance. Our next question is, is the Thunderbolt option available? And what kind of I.O. port can we expect in the future from the Brixis upgrade kits? Uh, that's another good question, too. A lot of people are asking when we receive the Thunderbolt yeah, into Thunderbolt. the AMD platform because in the, some multiple, uh, some member they do have an integrated Thunderbolt into. But in the SOC, it's a different architecture. So in this moment, there's no plan to have the Thunderbolt in this machine. But however, we also study it. Okay, maybe in the near future, we'll have the MD platform with a Thunderbolt or people right now call the other name, we call mm -hmm. USB 4.0, mm -hmm. and we'll have something like that in the future. Mm -hmm. I think on a related note, uh, people are asking if there are any skills with the Ryzen Pro processors. Right now we're using the Ryzen Mobile, not Ryzen Pro, and uh, we have the four different CPU skills from the Carbon Line 4800U, to the 4700U and to 4500 and 4300. So it will be the covering right now. And then we see the great potential we can expand in the MD product in near future as well. Mm -hmm. That is very exciting. Uh, regards, regarding how we can mount the bricks in different locations or work environments, people are asking what is the operating temperature range and the ideal uh, ambient temperature. Uh, right now, you can do is that because this is not a wide temperature machine, it's mostly like the for normal commercial use. So we're supporting the from the 0 to 35 degree. 0 to 35 degrees. Yes. Okay, that's Celsius, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one final question. When will the BRICS be available and the MSRP, when will that be available? This raw product will be, we just run down lunch right now. So you probably can get a product near the, like, the holiday season. Oh, we'll be launching product in the market very soon. And then SAP right now still uh we're still running will be very competitive price compared to our competitor and supplier too. Thank you very much, Hunter. These were very uh informative questions, but I think we were able to provide a good knowledge and understanding for our customers. Yes. Uh as people say, time flies when you're having fun. And we now come to the conclusion of today's webinar. If you have additional questions we were not able to answer, please feel free to contact us by finding us on our official website. That's obviously www.gigabyte.com. You are also encouraged to follow us on social media, including LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, on a final note about our lucky draw, four lucky winners will walk away with the four, four prizes. We will publish the list of winners on the website that is the web portal that you are using right now to watch this webinar. So please check back next week and you will find out if you are one of our lucky winners. Before we close, I want to thank our audience members again. This webinar could not have been so informative and exciting without your valuable participation. On a final note, please stay safe, stay tuned, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.